What's up, everybody? Let's see if we can get this little film to go here. Alright, so if your black trim is fading like this, or in this case it has like this rubberized film that's over it, but it's really over a piece of stainless steel, maybe I can get a little closer and show you that. I'm going to show you what I do in order to, you know, kind of give it a little different look. I'm actually going to flat black it. But since this is just rubber, you look for wherever it's loose. It's kind of like tape almost. So, just run it all the way down the bottom. I'm just going to cut it off. Oops. All right, here we go. Now, this is what you're dealing with, like this type of, it's almost like a black tape. Um, just a little covering over it, and it's right beside the window guide too. It's like they put it on both of them. So there's not a whole lot you can really do other than replace the part. With the exception, you can make it look a little nicer with some blackout paint. Um, just get you some flat black which is what we're getting ready to do now this channel is all about helping you improve a little bit and uh, saving you some money so you can do it yourself show you how I do it anyway and uh, all the products will be listed in our descriptions below as well as we look for a subscription by the end of the day or at the end of the video and hopefully uh, you will subscribe so first thing you do is get all this junk off of here. I'm doing this in real time too, no edits. So let's just take all this off. Alright, here we go. Trying to uh, see what we can do here. Okay, she seems pretty secure now, so let's take a look at it. So we've exposed the stainless steel now in its entirety. Get out here where you can actually see this thing. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do, it needs to have a little zero uh pad because it's stainless steel. You could use a light grade sandpaper. And I'm just gonna make sure that the surface is okay. Actually, before I do all that craziness. Anytime you're gonna be working around paint, you always protect it. We'll worry about cleaning it later. So get you some tape on there. Um, we'll have to do a little better job when we're painting than this, but this right here will work. Pretty cheap stuff, good old painter's tape's all I use. They actually have fancy stuff for this, but hey, you are dealing with the car, man. Alright, here we go. Some more down here. Like I said, guys, this is real time. And let's see what we can do here. Unfortunately, everything doesn't go perfect the first go around. This is actually a pretty simple project. You can make your time up. I mean, you'll make your money up when you're selling the car if you do a few things like this, because it actually builds a little bit of value. Like this is definitely an eyesore, so the average person's not going to be into looking at this. Even though it's superficial, it's still cosmetic. All right, so we're going to jump in with a zero ot. We're just going to make sure the stainless steel is nice and clean. Any of the new uh, or any of the leftover stuff, we want it just to come, kind of come on off.
All right, that's a pretty decent little prep. I feel confident that the paint is going to stick to that. Now we need to clean it, but what we're going to use to clean it is acetone. Um, so acetone is going to keep things like fingerprints, body oil, anything that's keeping that paint from sticking. Just like that. Okay. Now we've prepped the surface. So let's jump in here and uh, see what we can do as far as uh, protecting from some overspray. Always put it within the margin of the bottom. Just saves on material. Just a slight overlap, actually. And of course, you gotta have it on the bottom because if not, it'll blow right up under the paper. This is the last thing we really want. There you go. I've got another side to do too. Um, I see just a little bit of glass showing right here. I'm gonna go ahead and lap that down. You're not really gonna be able to make a distinguishable difference for the flat black because it kind of dulls out. But uh, you don't want it on any glass because it just makes it harder to take care of. And of course, we're gonna have some to the bottom. Let's go ahead and do this. Man, the stuff I do to entertain you guys. Oops, right there won't work. And technically where I just got that fingerprint at, that could fish eye because my hand touched it. Not particularly worried about contaminants in flat black. It kind of self levels and all that good stuff. Okay, cool, cool. We just want to keep it from blowing around. Remember, the more prep work you do, the less cleanup you do. Probably like, car man, that's overkill. Yeah, it kind of is, but it ain't worth the time it takes to clean it up. And then put a little piece right here. About like that. Now don't let me forget to put that uh, acetone where I just touched it with my hands or this might be a big pain in the butt. And it looks like we could use one more piece just for the sake of overflow. Let's just say that we just don't want any overspray. And you'll see with this light brown how far the overspray goes. And it only takes one piece of it to go haywire before you regret not taping it up. Unfortunately. Ask me how I know. Because I've done it. I've messed everything up that can be messed up. That's how I know. Alright, here we go. This is just a quickie. Let's see what we can do with this. 
All right. Just to be double safe because I did accidentally physically touch this. By the way, acetone is a great way to remove spray paints that don't have hardeners in them. So this right here is a spray paint without a hardener. And most of them you get over the counter with it. Okay, let me get me a respirator. Okay, you guys are gonna need one of these. And away I go. Always get a nice good shake and do a little test pattern. That's fine. And that's exactly how I'm gonna dust. I'm gonna dust it. So I don't care about painting it. I just wanna dust it. I just want a little bit on there. And that's it. Let it dry. Come back over here. Just let it dry. You see like the paint and see how the paint like starts getting at different places. You don't even realize it's going to get there. Now this is never going to look as good as it's supposed to. Just so you know that. This is just a way to increase the value of the car somewhat. A little hack that I do. I mean, you, you could definitely order these, but I say, why bother? This car's too old for anybody to care. You just do that, and then uh, you, you're you going to see it starting to dry to a dull color, which I'm sure you're starting to see right now. Oh, here I'm holding my respirator while I'm doing this on y'all to use your respirators. Oh, but you need to. What I love about flat black, it almost always comes out perfect. So we are done with this little project. It should be dry in just a second. I'm not putting any more coats on it. So let's take a look at the damage. All right. All right, and it's kind of the first look here. When you're peeling from the top, peel down. Just in case. Ah, got a little bit of overspray over here. And of course, in the top, you peel upwards. All right, guys, let's take a look at what we got here through the screen. And that's it. So in real time, it took 14 minutes and 58 seconds. That's from the beginning of conception until its end. And that's all I did. So 
you have to look back at the beginning of the video it was so ugly I don't remember what it looked like but this is what it looks like now and you see the flat black let me key in on it it's it's important that you use flat black because there you go there you go there's the flat black A little bit of overspray up on the glass will take care of that. And remember I told you, you never know what you do. So there you go. There's some right there. But nothing but love from the car man. Preaching the gospel from the RV. Hey, I will see you on the next video. Nothing but love. See ya.